Excuse me, miss. No, oh, Lord, it's Bennett. That'll do. Absolutely despise all of the blocking. Just wanted the stun. Oh. oh, right, he just killed over. Cool. Cool, we got some old magazines. Just what I always wanted. Right, let's quickly nip into Smile Burger and heal. I've just noticed. Hey, hold on. Well, uh, I might have just noticed. Does the... the people in Smile Burger change each time I go in? Or am I imagining things? No, no, I think it's the same each time. I think I remember that woman asleep in the corner. I remember when I was in Japan and I saw a Busy, a salary man just sleeping on the subway. Probably imagination. Yeah, I'm thinking probably imagination. Thank <laughs> you. Um. Oh yeah, I was going to the ice cream place, wasn't I? Which is another street over. Now, with all the talk on whiskey in this evening, <coughs> it does remind me of an old anecdote, well, I say an anecdote, but a fact about Charlie Parker, who was heralded as one of the two fathers of bebop, the jazz style. Apparently, at one point during his life, he went on a tour with Dizzy Gillespie, famous trumpet player. And when they got to the end of the tour in San Francisco, he sold his plane ticket for cocaine. I think it was cocaine. It might have been heroin. It might have been heroin. And he ended up living in a garage where he was drinking a litre of whiskey at night. It baffles me how anyone could drink an entire litre of whiskey at night. So, yes, as much as you think I might drink, I'm nothing on Shirley Parker. In both terms of drinking and saxophone playing, good man, that man was a genius. Absolute genius. Give you son, you're here already. I couldn't wait at all, so I ended up coming early. What's your limit? I don't know. President's perseverance and dedication, yeah, pretty much. My limit on whiskey, uh, I mean, I had, I went on a whiskey tasting and I had about 12 glasses of whiskey, of various scotches. I was not well the following morning. In fact, I was so unwell, I managed to trip over my own feet, smashed my face into the bathroom floor, and I ended up looking like a mess for about two weeks afterwards. So that's probably my limit. We'll take it. Yeah, Willie Nelson... Excuse me. Willie Nelson's the same way with weed. I don't think you can over... It might be ignorance showing. Mainly because, other than alcohol, I don't do drugs. Well, you know, prescription drugs... Well, not even prescription drugs, to be honest, but uh, over-the-counter pain. Paracetamol, basically, you know, just in case of, of training injuries. But I don't do drugs, apart from alcohol. So I don't know, but I don't think weed is as bad as heroin or cocaine, is it? I don't think it's as addictive or anything like that. So I mean, if you're going to be addicted to something, might as well be weed. I'd rather not be addicted to anything, to be honest, but 
And he smokes mountains a day. It seems based off uh, what I've heard and read. Well, I mean, that's a... That's a lot of weed. <laughs> that is a lot of weed. Also, Hailstrager. I've still got some in there. I might have to switch to the whiskey glass at some point. Um, Is that you? How about you, babe? <coughs> Wait. I'm sorry? <laughs> Been a while, huh? How are we? Uh, find some nice place and, uh... I don't think so. I've got business to take care of. Let's have it. Mm. Uh, yeah, of course you would. You sure about letting them go like that? There's nothing to worry about. Sorry about that, can you see it? Yeah, nah, let's go. Stop. Fuck on our agenda. Karaoke! Karaoke may be nice. Karaoke? <laughs> Didn't expect that. You just told me at our last meeting! But you, you, every date you go on, you start with karaoke. Why are you not expecting that? <laughs> Is this some sort of woman reverse psychology trickery sort of thing? Or am I overthinking a basic game mechanic? Probably both, actually. Um... <laughs> Also, I think she may be the first of these characters who sort of outside world model matches her hostess model. Summer Memories. I can't remember this song. I don't think I'm going to do very well. Um, <coughs> never mind. I'm loving this beat. Me, does he? Fashion it. Cool. Great. Yes. Karaoke Pro. Woo. <laughs> I freaking love that saying. Hey, give you saying. Why don't you give me the mic? Yeah, sure. Oh, is it Camarocho? Yes, it is Camarocho Lullaby. What a surprise. Oh, I'm so shocked. Mm. 
流れゆく夜の蝶怪しく惑わせて欲情も愛情も純恋かにやカムロ町優しく夜に抱かれ涙ほろりほろり舞い散る雪は飾る人で汚れた街でさえも花咲きでも花散るとも眩しい雪景か。It's slightly better than I usually do. Still not. Wait, what? Oh, right. I'm guessing more bads than good then. Blimey. I've still got a karaoke pro, but still. <laughs> Kiryu san, Jose this man! Kiryu san, that was incredible! I feel like I gotta see some real you in that performance. You think so? Thanks. Dogs are by Star Pring Blade. Things, yes. I think I have my fellow singing. You have a lovely voice. <laughs> Could almost say the same for you. It's <clears throat> about them out, Kiryu you saying? Thanks. You could take me out again sometime. Well, see ya. Right, well, that's that done. Um, what's next? Uh, suppose more? Okay, so who's going to be our next victim? I mean, date. Um. Though, in fairness, we're probably the victim with half of these. Kana! Why am I suddenly filled with dread? She can't be that bad. Orange juice and chocolate, marbles. <laughs> Welcome. Actually, no, I don't think she is. I think Jules probably got the worst slot. Please relax and make yourself at home. Oh, please relax and make yourself at home. <laughs> Help you, you sir. Aren't you looking fashionable today? Will I give her a gift? No. I have no gifts to give. Maybe not. What I like? Well, uh, apparently you like orange juice and chocolate. A woman of discerning taste, obviously. <laughs> okay. And chocolate. Well, we're definitely probably going to get her in the half. Was it about halfway? So cool. Help you. Just please, all the things, please. Right. 
What's wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? Nothing. You're just cute. Not wrong. Oh, jeez, Kiryu-san. You can't say things like that. You're gonna make me blush. Anyway. Okay. I want to know something. What part of me do you like exactly? Let's see. I've noticed it's only Milk-chan who has actually <laughs> taken appreciation of us. No, wait, ignore, <laughs> never mind, ignore that, that, no, I'm not finishing that sentence, let's, let's do this by the books. Um, <clears throat> stir it to her, no, wait, eight hearts, stir it to her. Silky, beautiful hair, okay, we will stir it to her head, that's sure. You've got silky, beautiful hair. Really? Thanks, Kiryu, sir. I really like my hair, too. I don't have anything special to do... Uh, anyone... anything special to do to it. Though I guess that I just have naturally good hair. <laughs> Actually, when I'm feeling tired or lazy, I just don't care for it at all. Maybe that's why it looks so good. Not washing all of the oils out of it. But, either way. Well, it looks good nonetheless. Yeah. Hmm. That really suits you, Kiryu-san. <coughs> Do we think Kiryu gels as her, or do we think it's just naturally swept back like that? I recently dug out some old photos of Newton, and I realised something. He was so cute when he was a tiny puppy, but lately she... No, uh, she was so cute as a tiny puppy, but lately she's been acting like an old fart. <laughs> What's she doing? Lately she's just been flopping down on the floor with her belly out. Like, have some decency. You've got to catch a cold. She just lays there, even when I try to give her food. Of course, when I crack open the snacks, that's when she comes running. She's so totally faking being sick. Could she even be doing that? Like, come on, girl. It's so unladylike. But I can't stay mad at her. Um... Newton is a puppy. They're always cute when they're little. Um, always cute when they're little. Kiryu's hair is solid plastic, like a Lego mini fig. Uh, uh. They're always cute when they're little. <laughs> Newton is nothing like puppy Newton, though. I'll show you a picture of Newton when she was a little sometimes. Sometimes. Then you'll see what I mean. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> I'll even bring the pictures of her being an old part. <laughs> sure. Hey, Kiryu-san, has there been anything interesting going on, uh, going on with you lately? Aha! We're at full heart power. Marvelous. I still don't know Kamarocho all that well, so let me know if you find something out of the ordinary. I would, uh, it would let me... Uh, it would make me really happy. Would you mind doing that for me? Something out of the ordinary? Well, let me think. Uh, none of these are as entertaining as the radio mission in Yakuza Zero. Um. Got it. Gelato, Kamichi, Matcha, Burger, Pac-Pan. Um, Gelato, I suppose. We've not done that one yet. So you do. You know Gelatera Cam uh, Camaro over on Taihei Boulevard. It's often packed with businessmen. Really? I didn't know the place was so popular. Popular enough for businessmen to swarm there, it seems. <laughs> Pretty interesting. Maybe I'll stop by on the way home. So, yeah, oh, yeah. I found some clothes that are perfect for Newton tonight. Did you now? I thought Newton was a dog. Why would she need clothes? <laughs> well, I don't want her looking like Donald Duck, do I? Oh, and yes, I did. Two cute costumes. Honey bee and a dinosaur. I went shopping right before I came to the club today. I found a pet shop and saw the two costumes on display, right? And then the moment I saw them, I was like, Oh, E, G, and then, oh, oh, M, G, and just had to buy them. 
just know they look adorable and new to them. I want to go home right now and see if I see what she looks like in them. Uh, so you like costumes? Oh, the. <laughs> so you like costumes, huh? <laughs> I love them. Newton's just the silly little girl, so they're perfect for her. Oh, look, she'll probably be like, why are you doing this to me when I put her in the honeybee costume? <laughs> you should try wearing a matching honeybee suit. <laughs> oh, good idea, Kiryu-san. That sounds fun. I think I saw that in the game once. Final Fantasy VII or something. Though no, maybe not without the bee thing at the back. You get one too, Kiryu-san, right? I'd love to put you in a honeybee suit to make you walk with me and Newton. I could just imagine your face like... Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> yeah, no, never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, that'd probably be my reaction. I think it'd be anyone's reaction. Here you, Sam. Do you do any martial arts? Why do you ask? <laughs> it's just, I noticed how muscular you are. You're pretty built, here you, Sam. It just made sense that you do some kind of martial arts or something. Being a guy must be great. When I was little, I wanted to learn karate. You should. Karate is amazing. Oh? But when I told my mother that, she said the girls shouldn't be doing karate. I learned swimming, calligraphy, and how to use an <laughs> uh, abacus. Oh. What is it? One of those things I just mentioned. I quit after one day. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess which it was, Kim you said? I'm guessing abacus. What is it? Swimming, apparently. Really? Was it the swimming? Wow! Good guess. Kindergarten was when I first tried it. But I got lost looking for the woman's changing room and I accidentally opened the door to the men's changing room. It was so embarrassing. By the time I made it to the pool, everyone else had already gotten in. I totally panicked and thought I was so, so late. I quickly ran and jumped into the pool, but my feet never touched the bottom, and then I really thought I was going to drown them. And that's the day I totally lost my motivation to do swimming. <laughs> that would do it. Hopefully you learnt to swim after the fact, though. Seriously, I cannot amplify how important it is to learn to swim. This seems like a good place to stop. Yes, it is a good place to stop. And yes, you do have lots of money because you are a multi-millionaire, Kiryu. But still. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm sort of... I'm, yeah. I, okay, Kana is good. So that's two for two in this club. And then Rose Girl is also... Rose Chan is also good. So. Yeah, I think I prefer the hostesses in this club than in Jewel. So, time for the daily dose of alcohol, so chit- Oh god, and Bennett's straight. <laughs> that's not your daily dose of alcohol, that's me! You don't need to redeem anything to drink! You- you can go and get your- Oh, fine. Well, there we go. I should never have called it Limit Break, should I? Hail Stray Girl. Well, at least I'm going to sleep tonight, aren't I? Right. I was going to read a text message. That's what I was going to do. I gave Newton a bath. It must have felt good because she fell asleep. I wish I could have shown you a cute sleeping face. That's fine. I'm fine. I don't need to see a sleeping dog. Um, and now we run around this manhole cover. Well, that's new. Work, kinda here. I'm gonna head to the club. Stop by if you've got the time. See you later. Oh, that's a new one. Be happy you don't have to drink more than one simultaneously. That is a point. You can turn it off. Oh, oops, sorry. You can turn it off when you feel you've had enough, or say, and I'll stop. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just having a bit of fun. <laughs> I'm curious now. Anna. I'm terribly sorry. Kana's son isn't working today. I thought she was in today. Do you prefer somebody else? Hmm. 
So on second floor, there's no facts. And my alcohol is part of my med, so way less nice. Ah. Your... wait. I'm guessing that was... you can't drink because of the medication you take? Which is perfectly fair. Unless alcohol is your medication, then... What's your doctor and how do I get them to work for me? Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ezio, you can't go to work today. You must sit there and drink an entire quarter of whiskey before I even allow you to go back to work. Right, um... We'll stop once you look sick for sure. Gee, thanks, chat. Much appreciated. Uh, where are we going? No. This is a different one. I'm really sorry. I don't think you'd really come to see me. Sorry, I wasn't a... Uh... Why tell... Oh, Gordon Bennett. So, now what? Is it literally a case that I... Okay. So... Do I go back in? Oh, okay. Right, so. Go back to the pub. Yes, Enter. Can I? Can I stand there? Right this way, sir. Oh, welcome. You're back again, are you? Please relax and make yourself at home. <laughs> oh, kill you, sir. And you're looking fashionable today. Should I give her a gift? Wait, am I... Wait, what? Maybe not. Is there any point in me doing any of this, then? I'm so confused by this. Um, a chocolate. Not really, but it's full. Okay. Well, I suppose we're having a conversation and stuff before we can progress. I'm yeah, I'm lost. Um Ah, okay. Right, I see what you mean, Strike. Fair enough. Here, son. I want to apologize for the other day. Yeah. Oh, why am I giving her the uh, thingy's voice? It's fine, don't worry. No, seriously. I'm really sorry. Are well, you not feeling yourself? It's not that. Mm -hmm. What then? I'm apologizing because I totally crashed. Uh, uh, I should laugh it off. Okay. All oh, right. This is the conversation. After that was the date. Apparently, that was our date. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> I'm such an airhead, aren't I? You went out of your way to see me, but I was out like a college girl on her twentieth birthday. It's Except it was food that did it, right? Bingo. You read me like a book, Kiryu Sen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, uh, you've only got one vice. <laughs> Kiryu Sen? Hmm? There's something I want to talk to you about. It's not really something you're supposed to tell people, but will you hear me out? Sure. What's on your mind? I don't really think there's a good way to say this, but. Okay, like. As an example, do you have any regrets or anything like that, Kiryu san? Let's see. Some. Yeah. I sometimes hate myself. I really got caught up thinking about my past regrets and mistakes. I'm 
Okay, no, it, it's not that I'm caught up on them. It's more, I feel like I'm running away from my problems because I can't see the future. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry for bringing up something so heavy, Kiryu said. You're not alone. You're not alone. Really? No. Really. Life gets to everyone from time to time. It's only natural for you to feel that way. So don't feel like you have to shoulder the burden shoulder the burden alone. We're all right there along with you. It's moments like this why I really love Kiryu. I know Majima is the fan favourite, but for me. Nah, if I had a choice to be like Kiryu or be like Majima, I'd take Kiryu in a heartbeat. Dude is just. Two of my biggest role three, technically three, but two of my biggest role models. Kiryu, surprisingly, considering of how long I've actually known him as a character, and the Doctor. Possibly free in Ezio, because Ezio is just charismatic. The Doctor for intelligence, Kiryu for just being as a human being, and Ezio for his charisma. But... God. Moments like this that I just love this man so much. Brilliant. Right, um, I'm gonna wash up. Someone else redeem while I have my hands full. Ay, ay, fair enough. Hey, almighty lurker. Don't know why I saluted there. Hey, almighty lurker. Um, right. Actually, have I even got the lurk command working anymore? I might have destroyed it, actually. I have rebuilt the bot at least twice. Oh, it's there. It still exists. Cool. Um, what was I doing? Oh, right, yes. You're right. <laughs> I'm starting to feel better already. Well, to hear it. Wait, does the heart oh, counter not do anything different when I'm progressing through this? Is it literally just going to go until something happens? So you've been on the oh, so you've been on the banana banana diet, right? Uh. I think I remember you talking about that. Well, my dog Newton has recently started eating bananas too. Of course she has. She doesn't do anything until after the day. So basically the game's changed things up for the re sole reason of just changing things up. Fantastic. When I wake up and eat a banana, I always ask her, do you want to diet with me and show her the banana? She would usually sniff the banana and give me a look like it was she was grossed out. But now she started the sniffing on her own. <laughs> and yesterday, she finally took a bite of one. And I was like, what? And you can eat bananas now? And she was still eating it pretty curiously. Cautiously, though. <laughs> I didn't think dogs would eat bananas, but apparently they did. She's an old dog for eating bananas, don't you think? Oh, banana. Okay, so it's now gone back to the old, to the previous set of. I'm not sure if she thinks of herself. I'm not sure if it, yeah, that one. I'm not sure she thinks of herself as a dog. <laughs> I think you're right. Maybe she thinks of herself as a person like me, or maybe something else. Either way, Newton must have live a happy life. We had a house rabbit who was like that. It was less a case that she realised she was a rabbit and more of a case I think she was partly knew that she was a rabbit but we were her rock warren and partly that she was her own little person as well. She was adorable though. Lived a long and happy life. How she never electrocuted herself by chewing through electrical cables, I will never know. I haven't managed to figure out how she managed to dig a hole in the carpet as well. Dear dedication, I suppose. People why? Newton must live a happy life. <laughs> I certainly hope so. <laughs> I'm sure of it. This might be a good place to stop. Yeah, no, I'm calling it quits on that one. <laughs> yes, I'm leaving you. Though you are absolutely adorable, Kana. I've been eating nothing but cup noodles lately. 
I'm probably not good for it. Probably not good for me. But the longer I live alone, the more annoying cooking gets. Plus, there's always leftovers, and I'll just want to cook my favorite foods. I wish I could just eat a ton of desserts. Hey, don't knock leftovers. I practically survive on them. Right, um... Do we think we're going to get a, a date phone call now, or...? There we go. Hello, Kiryu-san. This is Kana from Shine. Hey, Kana. What's going on? Well, I know I messed up the other day, so... Excuse me. I wanted to make it up to you. Would you be free for a date right now? Make it up to me? Yes. I want to apologise for disappointing you so much. So... Can we meet up at Gillette, uh, Gillette uh, Ca uh, Camaro? Why do I find that second word so complicated? It's Camaro. It's like Camarocho. I think it's the first because it's Italian and then the other side is Japanese. Gillette Camaro. The uh, one on Tai Hei Boulevard, please. Sure. Really? I'll get there as fast as I can then. I mean, if you're at work, I could just meet you. Oh, no, okay, never mind. <laughs> Right, so we now cross over the many streets of Camarocha. It's weird. I've played this game so many... This is one thing I love about the fact that it is the Yakuza series. I have played these games so many times that even if I can't remember the street names, I can remember the layout of this city. Just, I mean, there's where the, that's where... The highball tavern was, and that's where the noodle restaurant is, and that's where the docks place is, and that's where the champion district is. There's the Millennium Tower where the old empty lot used to be. The fact that I have learned this map, that I can look at that and I can go, I know where these things are because I have done things there. I have a history and a story with this city. It's absolutely amazing to me. As anyone who's familiar with this channel knows, I'm a massive lore nut. I just love learning about the histories of the worlds where I can. And just the fact that I'm actually playing through it and interweaving with the history of this city is absolutely amazing. Where's the Chinese alley? I, the Chinese alley was... You see, if we're talking about the one from Yakuza 0, it should be... It should have been... I don't know. Uh, it should have been somewhere around here, wasn't it? Maybe there? Possibly there. Mm, good question, actually. It was around about the empty lot, so I get the feeling it was somewhere around... No, was it near the drugstore? Maybe not. Because they've rejigged the entire place, it must have been somewhere around this part of it. I mean, if you want to point me out... Uh, to the right, study a bit more for Yakuza 4. Really? To the right? Oh, so in this block of stuff here then. I could have sworn it was... Oh, unless... Where did me and Nishki have that fight? Oh, well, sorry. Where did Nishki come back to join us as we fought... What was it? There wasn't the triad. It was fought, um... Thingy's men. Doesn't matter. The, the, the fact is... I know the general layout of the city, like... Up here, that's where the Pocket Circuit Stadium was. Literally there, there's the park, there's where the Pocket Circuit Stadium was. It's just, then there's the park where the homeless camp was, where Kiryu stayed a few nights because he was, while he was on the run. And uh, there's, Kaz uh, there's Kojima's Alley where the mushroom cellar was. And it's just, the, obviously the Champion District with Earth Angel and Waifu-san is. And it's just... And down here, that's where Majima's office was when in uh, Zero, where he and uh, Sagawa ended up in Kamarocho. And down here, up until at least Yakuza Kiwami 2, was uh, Sanagawa, Samagawa's office. Uh, uh, it was the Kazama family offices. And it's just... And obviously the Serena, which is New Serena. And then there's the park there where me and Raina sat and had our meeting. As well as me and... The, oh, it's just... I love this. I love the fact... I just I just love how I'm woven into the history of this city now. It's amazing. It, I love this franchise. 
absolutely, absolutely love this franchise. And this is only the third game. Technically, the fourth we've played, but it's only the third game. We still have... We, we're only halfway through it. We still have four, five, and six to play. And after that, then there's so many more stories. We've even got Sotenbore, which we visited twice. Don't know if we'll go to Sotenbore again. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. But still, we've got Ryukyu. That must be a mainstay for part of it now, because that's where Kiryu lives. Just... Anyway, me waxing lyrical about my love of this game over. Oh, Kiryu, you're early. <laughs> I made sure to get here early too. Oh, I had something funny happen to me recently. A little while ago, I, I, some random person approached me on the street, right? He was like, wanna be a model in a fashion magazine? Trying to scout me and stuff. 